From a volcano in Chile suddenly erupting after 40 years of inactivity, to a monstrous eruption in Iceland that forced flights to be cancelled for over 10 million passengers. Here are five historic volcanic eruptions that were caught on camera. When you think of Mount Vesuvius, you likely imagine the 79 AD eruption that basically erased the Roman city of Pompeii. You've seen the stills of people turned into molten rock statues as lava flowed through the city. Situated five miles off the coast of modern-day Naples in Italy, Vesuvius has blown its top several times since Pompeii. As World War II raged in the background, Mount Vesuvius became the most immediate threat to allies and American soldiers stationed at Pompeii Airfield. March of 1944 marked the end of a 20-plus year activity period, but it didn't come without widespread chaos and destruction. An explosion three miles into the sky, belching fury that dwarfs the man-made war nearby. Aside from the overly dramatic 1940s narrator, this old footage of Mount Vesuvius puts us in frightened Italian shoes. The March 24th explosion sent a wall of molten lava and volcanic matter toward the villages below, consuming everything in its path. The eruption destroyed upwards of 88 U.S. Army aircraft stationed at the Pompeii base. Then again, building an airbase a few miles from an active volcano wasn't the best idea. The eruption didn't claim any military lives, but we can't say the same for 26 Italian civilians living nearby. It displaced nearly 12,000 more people, people already reeling from the slog that was World War II's Italian theater. Most consider the 79 AD eruption of Mount Vesuvius the most catastrophic eruption of all time. Though, the only authentic record of the eruption comes from its sole eyewitness survivor, Pliny the Younger, a Roman poet who was there on that fateful day. Tall Volcano rests about 30 miles south of Manila, the capital city of the Philippines. It's one large caldera filled with water, also known as Tall Lake. It's the second most active volcano in the country, with the first place award going to Mount Mayon, with 50 recorded eruptions since the 17th century. Tall only has 35. The most recent tall eruptions began in January of 2020, when the main crater spewed ash over the surrounding cities. The eruption closed schools and businesses while grounding any flights in and out of the area. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology feared the worst and warned that hazardous explosive eruption was possible within a few days, perhaps even hours. Forty-three years had passed since Tall last blew its top, and the 2020 eruptions claimed 39 indirect lives. According to the Manila Bulletin, the country's most widely circulated English newspaper, some of those people didn't make it because they refused to follow evacuation orders and returned to their homes. Others suffered heart attacks due to anxiety. Things got worse when the Philippines recorded their first COVID case on January 30th, only two weeks after Tall decided to pop. Eruptions continued through 2021, and the government preemptively evacuated the residents on Tall Volcano Island. They said the volcano showed signs of increased unrest, and that was enough to get the people moving. The events never stopped, and although Tall didn't erupt in a massive explosion, the toxic fumes and ash clouds were enough to cause concern. In March of 2022, a short-lived eruption raised the alert level from 2 to 3 and the government evacuated 1,100 more people from the surrounding towns. As of April of 2022, it looks like Tall calmed down and the alert level dropped to two. We'll have to wait and see if activity picks back up again. Mount Calbuco is a stratovolcano in southern Chile that overshadows the cities of Puerto Carras and Puerto Montt. The volcano has erupted 36 times in recent history, with 13 of them happening in the past 120 years. In April of 2015, after 40 years of silence, 
Calbuco erupted twice within 24 hours, causing 23 inches of ash to pile up in some places. However, the eruptions began small, sparking panic in some and pure awe in others. But as time passed, the volcanic cloud grew and grew, eventually encompassing the entire sky. The government established a 12-mile exclusion zone around the crater, meaning nobody other than scientists were allowed within 12 miles of the volcano. Meanwhile, the military worked to evacuate 4,400 people. Volcanologists classified the main eruption as a Tier 4 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, which puts it on par with the 79 AD Vesuvius eruption that wiped out Pompeii, also known as a Vesuvian eruption. Of course, modern evacuation strategies saved plenty of lives. No deaths are associated with the 2015 Calbuco eruptions, although the volcano is still one of the most active in southern Chile. Eyjafjallajökull, also known as E15, was a menace for European air travelers in 2010. The Icelandic volcano released an ash cloud so wide that it affected 10 million flyers between the UK, Ireland, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Finland, and France. Chaos began over an initial six-day period in April of 2010 and continued well into May and June. In total, 20 European countries had to close their airspaces because of the ash cloud. And while many travelers were upset, it was wholly unsafe to fly in these conditions. One traveler told the BBC that he could smell sulfur in the air from his home in Norway. The EU hadn't seen this level of air travel disruption since World War II. But instead of Nazi bombers, travelers had to contend with 250 million cubic meters of ash and smoke. The smoke stretched 30,000 feet, and the explosion was rated as a 4, or another Vesuvian-level explosion on the volcano scale. Some of the most incredible clips of the E15 eruption are the shots of volcanic lightning you can see through the thick clouds. Unlike thunderstorms, volcanic lightning occurs when fragmented particles of volcanic ash and ice collide in the air. The collision generates enough static electricity to shine through the plume, an event also known as a dirty thunderstorm. So, while 10 million EU travelers had to make new arrangements, at least they got to watch one of Mother Nature's most incredible spectacles. Volcán de Fuego, Spanish for Volcano of Fire, is among the most active volcanoes in the world. It is situated 27 miles from Guatemala City, Guatemala, and hadn't erupted since 1929. Then, on June 3rd of 2018, the Volcano of Fire blew its lid again, taking nearly 200 people with it and marking the deadliest eruption since 1929. Fuego erupted on a Sunday afternoon while most Guatemalans were leaving church. The spontaneous eruption left little time for evacuation, and baseball-sized rocks rained on the ground below. The heat was so intense that it melted car tires to the pavement. A handful of Guatemalans got an up-close and personal view of the encroaching pyroclastic flows, but, as you're about to see, nearly stuck around for too long.
Onlookers watch a massive plume of smoke rise up over the trees. They whip out their phones to record the spectacle, and nobody seems to think that they're in danger. The cloud looks a lot further away than it really is. Panic sets in as the smoke pushes through the trees and flows through what looks like an evaporated riverbed. People flee in every direction as the smoke gets closer, eventually encompassing the bridge they stood on moments before. The Fuego eruption sent an ash column 9.3 miles into the air, and rapid clouds full of volcanic matter caused widespread destruction and crop damage. Volcanic materials destroyed 21,000 acres of corn, bean, and coffee crops. The Guatemalans in this video certainly earned a newfound reverence for the volcano of fire lurking in the distance. People living on Hawaii's Big Island are used to Mount Kilauea erupting. In fact, it hasn't stopped erupting since 1983, albeit at incredibly low levels. But that all changed in 2018, when Mount Kilauea violently blew its lid, becoming the most catastrophic U.S. eruption since Mount St. Helens. The eruption also triggered Hawaii's largest earthquake in almost 40 years. It all began with an uncommon phenomenon, when Kilauea erupted in two different places, at the summit of Halima'uma'u and the East Rift Zone at Pu'uo'o. By mid-March, both long-lasting eruptions worsened when pressure mounted in the magma system below Pu'uo'o. As the pressure mounted, the summit experienced similar inflation until lava inevitably spilled over the top, flowing into the park below, a park that normally drew 10,000 daily visitors. The lower Puna district got it the worst, as magma flows destroyed hundreds of homes, leaving lasting scars on the lives of thousands of people. Over 20 volcanic fissures opened up, spilling lava into people's backyards across the district. Imagine grilling dinner on the back deck when all of a sudden, a crack opens up in the ground and lava starts spilling out. The Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency reported dangerous levels of toxic sulfur dioxide gas, and the heat was so intense that it melted power lines clean off the poles. The danger increases even when lava hits the ocean. According to the United States Geological Survey, the interaction creates hydrochloric acid and steam full of tiny glass particles. So, don't go swimming when you see lava falling into the ocean. But that should have been obvious. Well, that's all we have for you today. But if you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thank you all for watching, and we will catch you in the next one.